evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, and welcome to our Christmas comedy special. Ha <laughs> ha. Christmas comedy special, and here's your host, Noel Edmund. Thank you very much. Good evening, and welcome to Christmas Telly Addicts. It promises to be absolute mayhem, so let's immediately have a magic moment. And thank you to everyone who's written in asking for these snippets from past TV glories. Tom Henderson, who's in Coventry, says it would be just baby grand if you could play my magic moment. He tickled my ivories and managed to reach the parts that other Scandinavians couldn't. Some Victor Borger, please. Yes, indeed, why not? Seeing indeed, Victor Borger. Now, just before we get down to the introductions, if you took part in the Radio Times Tele Addicts competition and you're wondering whether or not you are one of the five pairs of people who will be going off to America to Universal Studios, everything free of charge, all organised or whatever, the names are going to be coming up during the clips. So look out! You might be on your way to America. I am on my way to the Crackers. The crackers are 50% of our soap opera for Christmas, and the first cracker is Mr. Frank Carson. He, <laughs> leads, right. well done, he well. leads the crackers team. Frank plays oh, old Jacob Cracker, the man whose poaching days came to an abrupt end when he goes <laughs> salmon tickling without his glasses and spends two hours tickling a police frogman. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Thelma Duncan Niblett. The part-time police frogman, played this evening without the wetsuit by Lisa Goddard. Next to Lisa is George Layton, who plays the absent-minded village athlete Sebastian Crum, oh. who goes on a 23-mile jog each morning and ends up 160 miles away from home by the end of the week. Good one. And finally, <laughs> Graham Garden, playing Ginger Williams, who holds a wild party in old Jacob's allotment and gets arrested for disturbing the peace. Uh. <laughs> they are the crackers! And the other half of this rather bizarre soap opera is a team that we've dubbed the Clowns. First of all, we have Chris Tarrant, who plays the over-the-top French tennis... Ch ch tennis. It's <laughs> really easy to say that, isn't it, now? <laughs> tennis. It's almost impossible. Tennis coach, Fred Perrier. So Fred that. turns the heads of the local housewives with his fluffy yellow balls and faultless second service. <laughs> Next to him is Barry Cryer, playing the lovable village idiot, Hugh Jampton. Hugh is currently, <laughs> Hugh is currently awaiting ways, the results of his job interview at the local swimming pool where he's applied to be a diving board. <laughs> then we have <laughs> Jessica Martin, who plays the evil optician's assistant, Mary Chimes. This twisted woman sadistically tests clients' eyes by asking them to read the first eight lines of a Geoffrey Archer novel. Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally we have Mr. Like Jim Bowen, who plays right little Mickey Tuckbox. The young boy whose pockets are full of bullseyes and whose best friend is a spider called Neville and he has a smashing time with his catapult. They are the clowns! <laughs> and uh, I think we'd better just let battle commence, really. And here is the first Christmas party of the Status Quo fan club. It's not Christmas dinner, you old twit! Then what exactly is she for? Eh? Why have you built her here? Well, she's my share of the spoils. Go on. Well, I mean, when we rounded the angles, all I had was a couple of donkeys, four bags of oats, and her. And? And we drew lots. And? And I got the booby prize. <laughs> right, we better introduce you. I'm Seed Pot. That's my son, Bean Pot. Hello. <laughs> my father, Anthropod. Aye, aye, aye. And my mate, Senna. <laughs> Senna Pod? Oh, what a funny name. Yes, 
life. It runs in the family. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. Uh, the first question looks like this. Is this going to be an early victory for the clowns? Name the carry-on Christmas stars in the clip, please. Bernard, oh, Sid Bernard James, Breslau. Bernard Breslau, oh, Joan Sims, Joan Sims, Barbara Windsor, Ken Connor. Ken Connor. Ken Lovely. Um, We've said Bernie Breslau, haven't yes. we? Okay, let's see if you're right. Sid James, Bernard Breslau, yeah, Kenneth. Did you say Kenneth Connor? Yes. 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 Please. What a start. If you, are, if you applaud, everyone will be here all night. Here's the second question. What did Sid James bless on TV? This house. This house. Very good answering from the clowns. Cryptic, aren't they, so far? And the third part, Kenneth Connor and Peter Sellers. A red what on TV in 1956? The Idiot Weekly Price Tuppence. Ooh! What about that? Very good answer. Well done, Barry. Good man. Well, sure. No idea. I don't know. It's, it, it paid to drag Barry Cryer out no, of retirement. No, no, no. That's right. Pity that wasn't thrown over. Now, with a bit of luck, <laughs> with a bit of luck, this clip will silence him for a moment. Oh. All right, Danny, I leave it to you. Yes, Master. But if you fail. Yes. Oh, what? Not the thousand mayhems. Yes. Ah, the thousand mayhems. That's good, isn't it? He's gone. <laughs> My best bit so far. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Where's the pen? God! Oh, that's a God! The thousand mayhems! Oh, I know you can go. Yes! <laughs> no, no. No, no. No, no. Don't clap. You want money. No. <laughs> Was it harder? Yeah, it's much harder. All right, they're complaining already that it was far, <laughs> far too hard. OK, Crack, let's see what you can make of this. <clears throat> Whoops. Frankie goes to where? Pompey. No. Oh, Pompey was it? Could you answer as a team, Frank? You're part, no, no. You're part of a team. Baghdad. 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 Baghdad, yeah. Baghdad. It's just as well I ignored him, really, no, wasn't no, it? Baghdad. Is, We're trying to ignore him. He's impossible. Let's have the second question. In which series did he lurk? Of oh, Pompeii. Oh, Pompeii. Oh, Pompeii. Thank you, Graham. Thank, Thank you very you, much for the way you're That's holding lurkier. this team together here. <laughs> he was Lurkio, you're That's quite right. Now, is this going to be a three out of three? What did he refer to the Head of Light Entertainment as in the Frankie Howard show? Thing. 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 Graham once again offers thing. Yes. Yeah. That's very good. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 This. Oh, this is going to be a vicious fight to the yeah, very yeah. climax. It's three all. Look at that already. Now, traditionally, we call this round Guess Who? But looking at this lot, you might well dub it Where on Earth Do We Get Them From? <laughs> this all-round entertainer is genuinely warm-hearted. Ooh, he's friendly with a wild animal. And he's acquainted with the stars. <laughs> that is a genuine member of the public. <laughs> David yes. Bellamy? David it's Bellamy? Getting nowhere. David Bellamy? Right, that's no, their, no, that's their, that's no, no. their offering at no, no. three points. Right. Pork is his favourite dish. He has a theatrical bent, love is. But usually he plays the straight man. Yeah. Give a wild guess, eh? <laughs> Frank Bruno. <laughs> You're getting warm. Yeah. You, you are getting closer with Frank Bruno. And we move on to the third and final bit. His best friend is funny, funny. <laughs> Though Statler and Waldorf wouldn't agree. Along with a few others, he makes a muffet show of himself. And his personal philosophy is... It's not easy being green. Kermit! Oh. Yes. Kermit! Yes. 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 <laughs> a measly one point. <laughs> it's not a shame. See, we see little one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a generous audience. That was quite the worst performance that we've had ever in a Guess Who round. Ooh. This comic character made friends with a Norwegian designer. He was probably nicknamed Four Eyes at school. And though he was quite brilliant, he was also <laughs> slightly mad. <laughs> They're not real Norwegian. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, and they, they are genuine people. They were walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. We're, we're phased here. Are you all right, Jim? You're still with us? Sorry. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Have well, a while. For some reason, I'd have a stab at Kenny Everett. I think a lot of us would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I shall have to take that as your offering then. Oh, yes. Kenny Everett at that Kenny point. Everett. So, what do you make of this? He met a man in his pajamas. And he used a Ford Prefect to get around. He's convinced two heads are better than one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's that bloke who's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What's his name? Yeah. Melvin? You better go on. No, I think you better go on. Yeah. You're getting close, but so far yeah, you haven't nailed it yet. Norwegian. Then, so. uh, You're still worried about it. You're popular. Yes. Edward Green. That's Norwegian, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's move on, and that's the best you can do. Um, oh, look out. His trillion was one in a million. He could count to 25 with his fingers and his toes. <laughs> he dined in many ways restaurants. And he would have been lost without his hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. Well, he would, wouldn't he? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, all, that, all that's done is add to the frustration here. Yeah. We've got him in two. Like like yeah, you've done all that. We've no, been right. there. Lisa knows. Lisa knows. I could be wrong. Is Go it safe people, Brox? We'll give you a point for that. Yes, it is. Well done. And I don't know whether you're still interested in the score. It's made all the difference. It's four, it's four to the clowns, five to the crackers. Oh. Hi, we call this channel hopping because this who for doofer is now yours, Graham. And if you'd like to select one of 12 numbers, please, we will get to right. the question. Let's try lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. What is that a bit of? It's Basil Brush. Oh! Brilliant. Well, he wasn't foxed by that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, we move on. Well done. It is Basil Brush, well, quite yeah. right. So, George? Oh, Any number? There you have your selection available. Five. It's a video choice. In which case, we have four completely different videos take, here. Take oh, the brown one. And which one would you care for? Take the brown one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, if I could have it now. Why do I listen to you, Graham? <laughs> and I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a clue to this one, George. This Thanks. is not Sky TV's clothes show. Oh. They'd be a bit big on you, though, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Well, they could tuck the ends into me sock. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or you could put a couple of arm holes in there and you could use it as a mess. <laughs> right. So, George, the question yes. is... What were those knickers known as? <laughs> and there's two possible answers. I was going to say Arthur Hayes. I mean, you know, you <laughs> blow me there. No. What were they known as? They, uh, were, they were either called F-111s, because it took a <laughs> missile to get them down. <laughs> <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> or, alternatively, World War Twos, uh, because one yank and they're off. <laughs> I think I'll go for World War Twos. I think you were right with Arthur Haynes, actually. I don't know why I bothered with the rest. So, <laughs> if you'd like to pass it on with Lisa, you're quite right. It was Arthur <laughs> Haynes. Yep. What number would you like, Lisa? Three, please. Right. Oh, I'm going to sing yeah. on my own. Sing the sig, I'm afraid so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could sing it. Quiet, please. Who would you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Oh, and they can all join in. Oh, England's oh, down, oh, run. Do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? A number, please, Frank. Uh, number one. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Um, 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 uh, Max Wild. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Hello. Your hoofer doofer, if you would select uh, a number by pressing one of those What's happened? buttons, please. <laughs> ah, you two have this exciting selection Ooh. before you. Thank you. Um, Gosh. What do you think about it? Yeah. Blue. 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 Oh, blue. yes, of course. It's the Perhaps blue Chris, video for me. Yes, no. Chris Tarrant on the blue video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> watching, Chris? Yeah, watching. <laughs> well, I hope nobody expects me to, to sit on a case. Do, do I have to have this funny quiver round the back? You've always had a funny 
Would you now please name the actors playing Robin Hood and Humpty? Oh, dear. <laughs> Robin Hood was um, Wendy Thingy, wasn't it? When... Oh, it was, it was uh, Molly Sugden. Ooh. Molly Sugden. It, was, yeah, it was. It was Molly Sugden. Was yeah. yeah. And what was the other one? And Arthur, Arthur Bruff. Was was the egg. Arthur Bruff. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you, that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I it's covered everything. It's only one point for oh, all that sorry. effort. That but anyway, one, so we move on. <laughs> all right, Barry. Is it me? Yes. What have we got? Oh, I'll go early. Two. Two. Oh God. <laughs> Do the voice. Oh dear, Barry. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Spencer. <laughs> it's Frank Spencer. It's Frank Spencer. I go on any longer now. You've done a whoopsie in your seat. Jessica. Oh, that'll do. That'll do, Jessica. Any more, Jessica? Say hello to the oh, men. Oh, it's well, I'm not stopping now. I've got a scrub. Some ah. sores. That was me. Yeah. Very good. That was me, actually. Thank you. Give me that. Move on. Jessica, oh, Jessica, what are you, uh, what are you going for? Nine. Number nine. <laughs> ah, prop. Oh, nine. Okay. Oh. All right. Glass. I should try and help you on Bottle. this. Yeah. Bottle. Angie. Oh, sorry. Glass. <laughs> Glass. <laughs> Frank Glass. Frank Glass. Bottle. Frank Glass. Bottle. Glass. Bottle. Glass. Glass. Who is it? Not like Not that. Like that. Like that. That'll do. Isn't that it? Tommy Cooper. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, uh, you were correct, Fez time. <laughs> and now we come to Thank Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Can we take number four, please? Ah, mm, sing the song. Sing the song. Well, the, the boys to entertain you. <laughs> That's the one. With oh, a song. Eight to the clowns, oh. nine to the crackers. Yeah. And now, and now we're going to introduce an international flavour to this. Ooh. Here is some American comedy and a show that's canned laughter comes in a six pack. Well, they cleaned me out, took everything I owned. All I have is what I have on. They took your clothes? My clothes, my shoes, girdle, everything. Thank God I'm insured. Ma, why in the world would they want your clothes? Who knows? Short girl robber, travels a lot, likes strip dry. <laughs> It's okay, I'm thrilled. I hated my clothes. I need new clothes. They didn't take them, Ma. You hid them. Now, where are your clothes? Maybe I buried them. <laughs> yeah, take a brave burglar to go through her drawers, wouldn't it? So the first, the first oh, question. Oh, 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 Christmas. <laughs> oh. Who's the man hungry Southern Belle? Oh. Yes. No, I've, I don't I think, think we're going anywhere with that. No, no, no. fine. Well, I, uh, up it comes. Blanche. 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 Oh, oh dear. Blanche. Oh, oh Jimmy's just, Jimmy's suicidal. Oh. That was on oh. the tip of your tongue. Yes, yes. it was. You yeah. whispered Blanche, didn't you? In fact, I went Blanche. pale at the thought of it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we'll move on. And uh, where was Rose brought up? Um, <laughs> this is going to be a real. Um, New York. This is one of our strong rounds, this. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Well, no, we, New York. we've been doing a lot of work. The Bronx. Sorry? Mr. Bowen spoke, uh, then. The Bronx. Blanche from the Bronx. Blanche yep. from the Bronx. Okay. Rose from the Bronx. In fact, it was St. Olaf. Of course yeah. it was. St. Olaf. <laughs> That's, That's near Nottingham. Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> Who begins stories? Picture it, Sicily, 1924. We're not still on Golden Ooh. Girls. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. the, the grandma, it? isn't it? Oh, and uh, the, yes. uh, the, 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 the mother. Yeah. yeah. The, the mother? Blanche's mother. Blanche's mother from the Bronx. Yeah. No. <laughs> Absolutely right. The okay, Bronx. so has this been a disaster? It's not the one of our it has, it's, it's, it's been a disaster for the clowns it's because the answer is Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. Oh. And they have scored nothing. Oh. Nothing. Oh. Oh. And it's, but I will give them one point because of the uncharitable way in which Frank Carson yes, applauded yeah. the fact yeah. that they've got nothing. <laughs> That was no, bad sports. No, no, I wasn't. Oh, excuse me, I wasn't applauding them. I was applauding you for the fact that you've knit this show so well together with what talent there is about. <laughs> <laughs> and an extra point to Mr. Carson. An extra point to Mr. Carson.
So, in, uh, in what could turn out to be a very high-scoring show... Shut up, Frank, you were doing well. Thanks. Uh, we, we move on, and we've got more American comedy. So you could just stop eating this kind of food just like that? Any time I wanted to, because I have an iron wall. I've been eating like this since I was four. Yes, darling. But now you are 49. <laughs> and your little arteries don't unclog the way they used to. And who should know better than me? Would you like to unclog my eyes? That's not the question. Uh, <laughs> the question is actually Bill Cosby's character is called. He's a gynecologist. That could be the next question. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say Cosby. Bill. Was he called Bill in the show? Cosby. I regret it was Clifford oh, Huxtable. Oh, yes. Oh. One of those easy to remember names. Yeah. Clifford Huxtable. What does Cliff do for a living? No he's a gynecologist. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor. Well, he's a actually pediatrician. a pediatrician. Close. Well, that area. Doctor. That's close enough. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. That good, yeah. It is. Thank goodness you said He's working his way well, up. Is, we <laughs> might as well be educational about this. It's. Pediatrician, of course, is Greek for irritable, this is, this meaning is that you've got little always... patience. <laughs> <laughs> and so, which of Cosby's guests was an old spying We're going to say Robert Culp. Robert yeah, Culp, mm. I Robert Culp. Robert Culp. Robert Culp. Oh. Robert Culp. Yes. yes! Now, this has produced a very interesting situation indeed. Yes, quite a gap's opened up. It's yes, nine indeed. to the clowns, but it's eleven to the crackers. <laughs> The thought that Frank Carson's team could win is just too horrible. <laughs> things, <laughs> things like that can't be shown on television. So we come to titles and tunes. There are two programmes hidden in the music and the pictures. <gasps> Tray is one of them. Is the music. The song. Well, yeah. I heard everybody else. That's all I heard. Yeah. Uh, so it's what is it? The, the, the rag tray. Rag tray is the music. Is the music. Okay. The pictures. I think it's wrong. I, th I was going to say Alexi Sale, but I'm not sure that's Alexi right. Alexi Sale. I fear that you're right. You're wrong. It was oh, Russ Abbott right. actually. Oh. But you were right with the rag tray, so you get one point. And the tension builds now. This is an opportunity for the clowns to claw their way back to some sort of parity. <laughs> It is your go, Tarot. Oh, it's the, the music was the Billy Cotton Band show. Somebody's and somebody. the credits were Bob Monkhouse's yeah. when he had chat, a chat show, show when he interviewed comedians. Bob good enough, good enough. Two out of two, that's what they need. Absolutely sensational. Murray Walker would pass out with excitement at this moment. Yes, the gap is down to one. It's 11 to the clowns, 12 to the crackers. On the basis that the final round is under the spotlight and it depends on quick thinking and quick speech, I think <coughs> the clowns have already won, because what is, Fra <laughs> what is Frank Carson going to make of this round? That's what I want. <laughs> 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 so, the clowns go under the spotlight first of all. They are one point behind, but anything could happen. And we will be starting with you, Chris. Ooh. Your time starts now. In which show did we meet Thing and Cousin It? What are you talking about? <laughs> thing, thing, cousin it. Oh, quick, no, no. quick, pass. quick pass. The Adams Family. Which American comedian starred in Girls on Top? Um, uh, Ruby Wax. Yes. Who was always trotting off to the loo in Dad's Army? <coughs> uh, everybody. Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. What was he called? Mr. Godfrey. Mr. Yes. True or false, Barry? Eric Sykes starred in the 18th hole. Yeah, true. 
True. False. The 19th hole. Look at this. Name the comedy. Name the comedy series. Quick, look at this. Uh, uh, free. Free. Duty free. Duty free. Duty free. Yes. Uh, which actor appeared in comedies as Norman Fletcher, Arkwright and Clarence? Barry only. Ronnie Barker. Yes. Jessica, who played the dad in Father, Dear Father? Oh, Patrick Cargill. You're correct. Look at this. Who's behind the disguise? Tony Hancock. Yes. What was Mary's surname in the Mary Tyler Moore show? Van Dyke. Richards. Jim, true or false? Bob Monkhouse was the first host of Candy Camera. False. True. True. Look at this. Name this pair. Yeah, Keith Harrison. I, I, I'm free. Yeah. Orville. <laughs> yes. Alan Alder's character. Uh, I started. Yeah. Uh, Mash. <laughs> <laughs> Steady finish. Alan Alder's character in Mash was called what, Jim? Uh. No. <laughs> oh, what an anticlimax. Oh. Just look at what I could have won. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Oh. Sorry. It was Captain Benjamin Franklin Hawkeye. Oh, yes. Scottish character. Sorry. Adjudicator, how did they score? Seven. 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 So the crackers now go under the spotlight. Will Mr. Carson be able to keep quiet long enough simply to answer his own questions? Right. And I'd just say, Frank, please, if you don't know the answer to this, if you just say the magic word pass, it would help the rest of your team enormously. <laughs> uh, do you think you could... Do you want to practice? What, saying pass or go on a bit? <laughs> <laughs> and the time starts now. Who played the crucial DJ Delbert Wilkins? Tony Blackburn. Lenny Henry. <laughs> Name the two stars of the disastrous 50s series Running Wild. Um... Frank Bruno and, uh, Alan, uh, no. Morecambe and White, which blonde shot to fame on at last the 1948 show? Why well, ask me, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Amy MacDonald, Lisa, Lisa, true or false, Sue Pollard appeared on Opportunity Knox and was beaten by a singing dog. True. Yes, look at this, name the comedy series. Oh, uh, Last of the Summer Wine. Bit of mumbling, Last of the Summer Wine. Which actor appeared in comedies as Granville, Del Boy and Ted Debbie Simcock? Jason. Yes. Uh, George, who played Robin in Robin's Nest? Uh, Richard Sullivan. Yes. Look at this. Who's behind the disguise? Betty Hill. Yes. Oh. What was Lucy's surname in I Love Lucy? Uh, Arnaz. No, Ricardo. Oh. Graham, true or false, the Burns and Allen show starred George Burns and Dave Allen. Uh, false. <laughs> <laughs> it was Gracie Allen. Gracie. Look at this. Name this pair. Uh, that's Lenny the Lion and, and Terry... Oh. Terry Hall. Yes. <laughs> Ted Danson's character in Cheers is called... Uh, he's often is the barman. Um, he's, um, oh, it's gone. Say Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sam Malone. Yeah. Sam Malone. Yes. I Sam make Malone. it at the end of that. They've also scored seven. But there was whispering going on. Never. During that one. Yes. yes. yes there was. There was whispering. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, at least you can't accuse me of that. <laughs> there was. There was a lot of whispering go going on. With a lion and no. Terry Hall, and therefore I'm debiting a point. Oh. Oh. Six oh, to the geez. crackers. Six. <laughs> and therefore, it means surprise, surprise, it's a draw. Oh. <laughs> so, at the end of this special edition of Telly Addicts, they're locked together as a draw. So, first of all, could I have your appreciation for the losers, please? The Crackers. <laughs> Frank Carson, Lisa Goddard, George Layton, and Graham Garden. Thank you very much indeed for playing along. And the people who... They really should have won, shouldn't they? Yeah. No. no! But they also drew the Clowns. If there's anyone still watching, I hope you enjoyed that very much indeed. I hope you join me tomorrow on BBC One for a special tomorrow. Christmas Day show. <laughs> 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 but until we meet again with more of those serious and sensible telly addicts yeah. from everybody here at Pebble Mill, we wish you, despite the heckling, we wish you a very happy Christmas indeed. Bye-bye. Yeah. Happy, happy Christmas from telly addicts. <laughs> hey,